Okay, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to set up SendGrid. SendGrid is a service, an API service that sends out emails. Um, the reason why I would use SendGrid is so that when you actually send out emails to your uh, clients, um, when a notification happens inside of a, when a lead opts into one of your landing pages, is that it just, it just happens. There's nothing to worry about. They do all this, you know, they worry about all the spam issues and all that kind of stuff. So if we're using the, the, the email function inside of WordPress, um, there's a chance that if someone complains or your domain or that uh, API and uh, IP address on your domain it has been flagged or something that just people won't get beginning your emails and you want to make sure that your clients are getting your emails. So we use SendGrid. Okay. What happens is when someone opts in to a landing page, um, that lead gets saved inside of WordPress, also inside of any other service you have like Aweber. And then also when that happens, you can have it that lead information be sent to to one to or to or to four or one to four clients. Um, so I'm gonna show you what that means inside of your managed clients. Okay, on notifications, you can have up to four different clients to notify. So once a lead opts in, um, their name, their email address, and their phone number can be uh, emailed uh, to a client. So or it can also be emailed to yourself and then to three other clients if you want. What you need to do uh, to get SendGrid working um, is go to your settings area. Under SendGrid options, what you need to do is put in your login email, uh, login address for SendGrid. Um, put in your password. I'm just going to put in a fake password here. And then you want to put in your from uh, name. So basically who the email's from. So I'll put in my name. You can put your, your company name in there so it's white labeled. Um, and then your actual email address from your company so it looks like you're sending them an email uh, so it's coming from you from your email address um, once you've done that you just go down here and hit save changes or save settings also one thing before I go to this is uh, SendGrid if you haven't heard of it it's really cheap um, they have a free program if you go down to their pricing page you can create a free uh, account which will allow you to get send tw uh, 200 emails a day so basically think of that, that's almost like 200 emails a day or a leads a day that you can send out um, if you're using only one person to notify. That's still a lot of emails to send in a, in a day. So then that's free. And if you want to upgrade to their $10 a month program, it's 40,000 emails a month. It's a really good deal. Okay, so once you have all this information, so you're your login to actual to SendGrid. This is what you would use in to, to log into SendGrid itself. You go to your manage clients and go to notifications. As you can see, the message up here says SendGrid is now set up. So email messaging is, is enabled. So what you want to do is you put in a subject line. So like you got a lead and then you put in the email body copy. This can be anything. Be anything. Um, what happens? So there's there's the body copy under this under this co body copy inside of the email. It's gonna have a list of the the client information. So it's just gonna say uh, name this email this phone number this. So you don't have to worry about that. It's already done for you. Just you just basically you can write in here. Hey, we you owe us ten dollars. Yeah, or you can write anything you want here. Hit save changes and then go back here. And then what you want to do is have a client. So you, you, what you need here, um, it works in descending order. So if you have two clients, you have to put client one, client two. You can't have client one and then client three. You'll just skip client three and, just, and assume you only have the, cl the client one. So if you want to have uh, three clients, you have to have them client one, client two, and client three. Um, and then if you want four, you have to do that. You have to be doing in order. So basically the only thing you need to do this for a client is you just give them a name. So I'm just going to put in James. And then you put in their email address, which can be anything. I'm just going to put in email at gmail.com. And then that's all you need to do. And then hit save changes. Now anytime someone opts into this uh, form here, which is on your landing page, um, they will 
this this it'll send send will send good will send out an email with that information with here with this information here and all the information in your settings um with that client or with that leads information to this to this person you can have you can you should what you probably should do is also have yourself here so put your full you put your name here then your email address so that every time someone signs up you also get an email and then you can put up three other clients so you can have um the, the other client and then or your business partner whoever else you want so that's how SendGrid works.